So God, when God called me to Romania, it was for children's ministry. Um, and I never dreamt that the connection, how he's going to lead me into widows. And so what happened was um, there were this couple from Texas. And when they would come every Thursday, they would drive down from Cryova, where our, our, my field supervisor, Corey and Aaron Sixstrom, live. So they were just coming to teach English to our missionaries. And then they were available to serve the rest of the afternoon. And so my pastor, Pastor Rao, said to them, you know, could you do something in this village called Radu Miresht? So they drove there, and they're looking around, talking to people, and they were told, if you want to do something here, help our widows. And so they went to the mayor's office and talked to the social worker, and they told her we could come each Thursday and go to five different widows each week. And once a month, we would bring them groceries. So that's how it started, and then they invited me to start coming with them on that. Uh, eventually, their son got really sick, and they had to leave Romania to care for him. And so they passed the baton to me. At first, the social worker would come with us, and I began to really have a burden and think, oh, Lord, it feels like we just give them their groceries, and then we rush off to the next one because they were busy at the mayor's office and had to get back. And so I eventually learned how to get there myself so that I could just have time, right, just to love them or listen to their hearts. With our children, we're learning the verse, it's more blessed to give than to receive. And I thought, wow, what an awesome opportunity, you know, for the children now to learn about giving. And so I just bring them along with me, and we go to the widow's. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, if it was an afternoon and I had to take something to one, I just, oh, I'd ask one of the little girls, do you want to come with me? Or our Saturday club, we would take some, a group of the children and they'd prepare maybe some songs. And then at Christmas time, uh, usually we do a program and the children all expect, oh, we're going to get something. We're going to get a gift, a shoebox. And I said, you know, children, why don't we do something different this year? Instead of a program, why don't we do something to bless someone else? And so for several weeks, they prepared a craft for the widows. And then the Saturday before Christmas, it was a frosty, beautiful day. They bundled up, we got in vehicles, and then we went to the widows and they sang carols for them. And then they gave their little gift that they had made. And I think what really touched my heart was when I looked around at their faces and just the joy um, that was on their faces. And they never once asked, are we going to get something? Or are we going to get a shoebox? And they were just thrilled that they were getting to do something for someone else.